tensions between the U.S. and Tehran rising after coordinated strikes hitting two Saudi plans, which include the world's biggest oil processing facility. Video footage showing flames and smoke rising over the Aramco facility in Saudi Arabia, with satellite images showing the extent of the damage after the attack, as a senior administration official claiming that 19 Saudi targets were struck. The drone's launch disrupted around 5% of the world's daily global oil supply and caused oil prices to soar. U.S. President Donald Trump saying he has authorized the release of oil from the country's emergency reserve and tweeting, quote, Saudi Arabia oil supply was attacked. There is reason to believe that we know the culprit are locked and loaded depending on verification, but are waiting to hear from the kingdom as to who they believe was the cause of this attack and under what terms we would proceed. Yemen's Iran-aligned Houthi group claimed responsibility for the attack, while U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo blamed Iran. Americans, instead of accusing themselves and confessing that their presence in the region, in Syria, in Yemen and other areas has been problematic, every now and then they accuse the countries in the region and the brave fighters of Yemen. This comes as the U.S. still not ruling out a meeting with Iran. Well, you know, this president and his national security team and Secretary Pompeo, our nation's chief diplomat, keep many options on the table, particularly when it comes to retaliating against malign behavior and protecting American interests. Aramco now working on getting oil production back on track.